So this is the first time I've held a microphone. Kind of expected to feel more special, but okay. <laughs> so I came to the wrong place and I got the wrong time. The first time I used a tampon, I put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> but it's only uphill from here, right? <laughs> but it's okay, because like, I'm a very naive person. Like right now I feel like you all know it's my first time, you'll be really nice, you'll kind of laugh when I laugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm so naive that when someone first said they want to be friends with benefits, I assumed it meant banging someone on job seekers allowance. <laughs> that's that's not what it meant. But uh, yeah, so I'm a carer. I look after my nan and granddad. They're great. My granddad's got Alzheimer's, which I particularly enjoy on Christmas, Easter, any gift giving occasion really, because I can buy myself a gift, wrap it up give it to him, get all the credit, take it back the next day. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. And my nan, well, everything's gone there, but it's great, because I realized after a while that she's just drunk me. <laughs> I realized when we're standing in the kitchen, that we're having a little boogie to Frank Sinatra, you know, fly me to the moon, let me dance. No warning, she just got her tits out, <laughs> popped her dentures on the arga, I carried on going like nothing had happened. <laughs> you know, she's got a second carer writing up a care plan, she's got everyone flapping around. Like <laughs> ten a lady going. She loves it, it's brilliant. So uh, we're a Roman Catholic family, we're half Italian, because you know we're, we're all secret foreigners here, we're in London, let's be honest. And so we're a little caravan in the garden that I stay in, so I can do non-Roman Catholic things like drink, <laughs> swear maybe have a relationship outside of marriage, who knows. <laughs> and uh, outside his granddad, sometimes he forgets I'm there and he locks the cottage doors, which would be fine if the caravan had a functioning toilet. So this happens one day, I've had a bit too much Sauvignon. I feel like, I'll just do what my dog Frankie does, I'll go outside, do my little wee, but like nothing happened. It's natural, right? We've all got bodily functions. So I'm squatting down, I'm doing my little drunken wee in the garden. Something happens. I shit in my nan's garden. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to do. <laughs> so I kind of crab walk. <laughs> Sacrifice a sock. <laughs> <laughs> Brad was so on for a bit more inspiration about how to search this fucking situation. <laughs> and I see it. The croissant box. <laughs> you know those plastic boxes you get with the croissants in from Tesco's? Like, <laughs> those things. Pop the sock in it. Pick up the box. Go into my nan's beloved garden. I scoop up the shit. <laughs> and I think, I know what I'll do, I'll be clever. There's crops in the next field, no one will see it. So I go through the ditch with this box, like... <laughs> go through, I get there. No one told me they had a fucking floodlight for intruders. <laughs> Who's gonna break in your farm in Norfolk? Why waste your money on this? So I panic. I get the box, I hold onto it, I fling the shit into the cornfield, <laughs> and I run back into my caravan like nothing ever happened. But it's all natural, you know, we've all got bodily functions, doesn't matter where it happens really. Which brings me back to my dog. Does anyone here have dogs? Yeah. Yes. So we all know, you know, they're quite socially inappropriate. <laughs> like they meet someone, they're like, oh, bum. <laughs> all for the most outrageous smelling things they go for. <laughs> so, uh, Anyone here sleep naked? Yes. Um, there we go. I would have wanted to see the rest of you come on. So one day I come home, a bit drunk, take off my clothes, pass out naked. Any woman here have periods? <laughs> right? She, she gets me. <laughs> so I wake up and my inner thigh feels really warm, it's quite nice. It's like I'm having a hug from a really weird place. My dog's licking my menses off my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I 
really wish I could say I made that joke up. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I think I'm going to leave early. <laughs>